Hello class 7. In chapter 9, we are discussing the programs based on for next statement. You know, for next statement is a looping statement. It is used to repeat a statement or a set of a statement for a fixed number of times. So today we are going to discuss some programs on basis of for next statement using for next statement in QBasic language. First, Use of negative step value. How to use the negative step value and print the series in descending order. See, a negative step value in a loop decreases the loop variable by the given step. If a step is minus 1, then it decreases the value by 1. If it is 2, step minus 2, it decreases the value by 2 or accordingly. For example, CLS clears the screen. For n equal to 10, now see initial value is 10 to 1, final value is 1. The initial value is bigger than final value and a step is minus 1. So it will go in decreasing order. The first value of n is 10. The 10 is greater than 1. Yes, the print n, 10 is printed. The next 10 will do a step minus 1. The 10 minus 1, 9. The 9 is greater than 1. Yes, the print 9. Next n will be 9 minus 1, 8. The print 8. Next will be 8 minus 1, 7, then print 7. So accordingly, it will go on printing. Alright, now let us see this program in QBasic. Open QBasic. Type the program CLS for n equal to 10 to 1 step minus 1 print n next n and end of the program now type press f5 press f5 creating exe file now see the output is has come here here is the output. What is the output of the program? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Printed in which order? De descending order, decreasing order because of step minus 1, 10 to 1 and step minus 1. Program is clear to you. Now, let us see the next question. Next question is, write a program to print first 10 even number in descending order order that means first 10 event numbers are from 2 to 20 but we want to print first 20 then 18 then 16 14 12 10 8 6 4 2 we want to print in this order to see the program cls for e equal to 20 to 2 in descending order step minus 2 to print e 20 is printed next step minus 2 18 is printed next step minus 2 16 is printed next step minus 2 14 is printed next step minus 2 12 is printed till 2 okay program is clear now let us check this program in QBasic CLS for e equal to 20 to 2 a step minus 2 print e next e and end of the program a press f5 what is the output see the output 20 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. So all the even numbers from 20 to 2 printed in decreasing order because of the step minus 2. Okay, I hope I'm clear now. You all understood the program. The next question is write a program to print the sum of first 10 natural numbers sum of first 10 natural number like 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 to see the program cls s for sum equal to 0 
numbers are from where to where? 1 to 10. So for n equal to 1 to 10. S equal to S plus N. The first time value of N is 1. The S equal to S plus N means 0 plus 1. Next N will be 2. The 2 is added after 1. Next N will be 3. Then 3 is added. Next N will be 4. Then 4 is added. Next N will be 5. Then 5 is added. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All the numbers are added in sum in S. And as the N value becomes 11, it is loop will be terminated it comes out and print the sum equal to s so this is called a sum of series program we are finding the sum of all the numbers from where to where 1 to 10 okay so in the body of the loop we are adding the number n and outside when it completes 10 times we are printing the sum now let us check this program also open qbasic CLS is equal to 0 for n equal to 1 to 10, 1 to 10 is equal to s plus n is equal to s plus n. Next n print sum equal to double quote semicolon s and end of the program. Now let us check the output press F5 key function key F5. And the output came sum equal to 55. The sum of first 10 natural numbers is 55. Okay. Now, so this program prints. This, is, this way we calculate the sum of the series by using the for next. The last question is write a program to print the square of first 10 natural number. Square means 1 square, 1, 2 square, 4, 3 square, 9, 4 square, 16, 5 square, 25, 6 square, 36, 7 square, 49, 8 square, 64, 9 square, 81 and 10 square, 100. This is CLS. For n equal to 1 to 10, print n caret 2. The n value is 1 to 1 caret 2 means 1 power 2. Now, next n. Next n. The next n will be 2. To print 2 power 2 means 4. The next n will be 3. To print 3 power 2 means 19. 9. Next will be 4. To print 4 power 2 means 16. Like this, it will go on finding the square of n and printing. All right. This program also let us check in the QBasic. Open QBasic. CLS for n equal to 1 to 10. Print n caret 2 caret for the exponent power next n and end of the program press function key function key f5 and see the here the output comes see it is printing the square of all the natural numbers 1 to 10 1 2 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 64 81 and 100 so i hope you have understood all the today's program so write these programs in your computer copy and practice thank you